One of my subscribers wished for a specific game on this channel and as your wish is my command, I will present you the successor to one of the greatest stealth games of all time. This is Dishonored 2, presented by Glance at Games. And there we are, Dunwall Waterfront. Objective updated, mobility training. Okay, do we find something here? There's water. Okay, we do not get any water effects. This is quite disappointing. We already heard this in Bioshock 1 when I was standing underwater that there was like an overlay with raindrops and waterfalls and everything. I am disappointed. My immersion is gone. Ah! Let's see what you can do. And there he is. Main man Corvo. So, what is on the board? Best quality, James and Co. Two trial bottles, high concentration. Oh my god, let's go shopping. Oh, okay, so this is like a little parkour. I get it. And there we are. Did it. Parkour. And that's what I like about Dishonored. Arkane Studio really formed an own style of movement in these games. And this is very similar to the upcoming Dishonored parts, so the DLCs, and also to Deathloop. So you can instantly see from which developer this game comes, just from its movement tech and its movement set. And I think they have improved the sliding, so you... Oh my god, you... This is a very destructive slide, so you can slide very far. And we get even further and get a little speed boost after standing up. Halt! Authorized personnel only. Reminds me of Wolfenstein. Also the same in German. Which means Halt. Stop. Halt. Hammerzeit. And I think this is also the first time in the series where we are playing a woman, right? In the previous part we have been playing with Corvo and now we are playing with an unknown female hero character. What is this? Fountain. Use. Oh, we can get some water. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Go around. And then we choke out Corvo. The choke hold. That's yes. And there we are. Hello, my dear friend. Oh, nice. That is new. Okay, this is interesting. Even if we get discovered and somebody is engaging with us in a sword fight, we can parry him with a perfect timing and then choke him out. And maybe we do not get any more enemies to fight or he doesn't ring the alarm. That is good to know. Nice information. Ooh. Oh, I think it's the first time that I see him smiling. And he looks a bit like Joel from Less of Us. Come. But with a different hairstyle. Different hairstyle and his chin is more narrow. They share similarities, definitely. Before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sir Konos. Yeah, he has two General Grievous robots. Thank you for the gifts. They do not look threatening whatsoever. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? Oh, it's David Bowie. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise whispered I mean, she is kind of hot. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the crown killer murder. Oh! <gasps> Violence against women. Oh, he lost his power, so what? Play as Emily, ruler of the Empire of the Isles, trained in stealth and combat by her father, Corvo. Legendary royal protector to the Empress and figure of infamy from the time of the Red Plague. The last time I've played Dishonored, we were playing as Corvo, so this time I think I will go with Emily. So, yeah, then let's go. Play as an Emily. Yes. You in cold marble. No! Oh, and that sealed his destiny. 
I'm sorry, Corvo. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, then I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. No! Mayhew. Mayhew. No. That's a huge May oof murdered in cold blood. I will kill you all. Let's look around. Let's look at our surroundings. First of all, the graphics have improved 10 times. The visual language is still the same. We have an improved version of Dunwall, basically, with more details, better textures. Okay, plenty of people are dead. Oh, she's still alive. Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Goodbye. Goodbye, Alex. You've always been a true friend to me. But let's continue with placing those people. I gotta treat my dead friend with respect. See? Now they are just chilling there, nobody notices it. Three friends on a couch, chilling. He even has his feet up on the couch table. Comfy as fuck. Let's go. Oh, there's the safe room, but this is... Oh, we need to find the ring, right? Ring. Yeah, we need to find the signet ring, first of all. Hide dead or unconscious enemy so they are not found. I put him right here. <laughs> now the entire couch is full. Very good. He will never be found there. Damn it. I need to pee. I need to pee, man. Need to take a royal piss. Oh my god, so many dead people here. Oh, isn't it laundry day yet? Oh, it's gotta be soon. I can't stand my own stench. He's stinky. Uh, stinky poo. Those dead people are laying there. Very unprofessional. Gotta put him on the chair and i think there's a mate in the other room which we can put right next to him and there you go they're all getting the chair and there is the mate all right and now they can have a nice conversation with cigars and wine Susan, how was your day? Stephen, oh, you know how it is. It's so stressful. Yeah, and then so, then the conversation continues and then maybe they're making out. I don't know where these ideas are coming from. I hope we get an achievement for eating all the vegetables and fruits that are laying around here. But we have to... Wait, we can inspect the hookah? This reminds me of good times with friends. With Wyman. I had a phase in my life where I was like smoking the hookah too. The throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. Wait. We loot that guy? Oh my god, how great was that? I won't leave my hand again. Thank you. And there we have the Imperial Seal. Unfortunately, you cannot see the achievements that we get, but... Wait. Okay, but no. I wanted to go for the defense block. I almost killed myself by doing this. Holy shit. Okay, they found us once, but we didn't kill any, so... Okay, he's sitting there. And we need another guard. No. Don't fall into the wrong direction. Ah. See how they're both taking a nap, like best friends. They almost holding hands. Cute. Oh, I th this doesn't look very healthy. I mean, I tried it once when I was a teenager, but um, anyway, continue with the story. Wait. Oh, I can really do that. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I know I'm a sadist. Dude, like Corvo really decapitated him. Look at him. He's an, oh, he is missing his head, his left arm and his left leg with only one swing. Corvo, you are a menace to society. You are and you always have been. But I'm trying to do the same. That's why I'm burning dead bodies. But these are only safety measures. The Black Death is still raging through the city. And we need to burn all the dead bodies. Wait, can I play this? No time for that now. 
Hey, don't you tell me what to do in my let's play. Anton Sokolov made this lock. A very familiar name for those who have played the previous part. And Must there we are. So many nights in here after the rat plague. They really improved the lighting overall. Holy shit, this looks so good. The first Dishonored part was still solid. I played it last year on, I think, high difficulty. And when I had the time to look at the graphics, they were still holding up because of the very well executed style, like the art style and art direction. But this is a big step forward. It still looks the same. It still looks like it belongs to the overall Dishonored world, but better and improved. And there is the gun case. I have a feeling I'll need these. New weapon acquired! Press Y to use the spy glasses. Oh, this is our ADS. I remember. I like the sound of it. They improve they even improve the sound of the of the usage. Very nice. Now you got what you wanted, Ramsey. The Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Enjoy the rations and well water. He even has a hooker. It, it's not that bad. Okay, so first we gotta get off the streets and then we can go to the ship. All right, got you, got you, got you. And we can perform an execution here, but we do not have to, right? So, so maybe we can circle around. Okay, he didn't hear that. We cannot climb this because the electricity is still running through those tracks, so... Sleep tight, sleep tight, don't let the bad bugs bite. Make yourself comfortable. Take a little nap, enjoy a cigar, read some books. Enjoy the warmth of the fireplace. And his hand is open, maybe we find a, we find something, maybe a glass or anything, maybe a whiskey tumbler. Oh, there it is. Ah, okay, if you're not drinking alcohol, just say it. Oh my god, Master Stealth! I feel like in Mirror's Edge, but it's way better and has a way higher production value than this. No! No! I was trying to be cool. I wanted to slide over those, like just avoiding the electricity. And I slid too far. Maybe there has been soap on the metal stairs. I don't know. Where, and I'm out of money for any more operations. Lady, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Alternative approach. Lethally. Civilians killed zero. Hostiles killed zero. Totally killed zero. And we have all these special actions. So time capsule, coin of the realm and Ramsey's fortune. This is very good. A very good start into the first mission. Let's see how we continue from there. This looks very otherworldly. So I assume that we will meet him now. Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. Oh yes, I know who you are. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about oh, it? your Imperial Majesty? Zombie whale. I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. Accept the outsider's mark, reject the offer, no powers mode. Oh my god, okay, this heightens the replayability so much. We can reject the tattoo on our left hand and enter the no powers mode. But of course, because it's just like, it's more fun, definitely, and it will be a bit easier than uh, going with no powers, we will accept the outsider's mark. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of... Something. Tutorial, far reach. Press the right mouse button to rapidly pull yourself forward. There we go. Crap. 
incredible. Oh, it works like a slingshot. So we catapult ourselves up and down. It's not it's not really a teleportation like in the first part, so it's more like a like a slingshot here. That's great. Can we interact with him? No, right? No, we can just look at him, but he seems to be very dead. His hands look strange. Maybe he is infected by the macula. And if you guys know where the macula is from, from which video game series, type it in the comments. What is that? A it gift from the outsider. Familiar. Oh, it's the heart. The artificial heart represents the goodwill of our mom, the heart. You see how to look locate runes and bone charms there it is the rune at the outsider's shrine oh and we get two for one nice i would find very interesting is if we would have chosen corvo for our main character as the protagonist of the second game i'm asking myself if the dialogue would be different with the outsider maybe that he says hey nice to see you again yeah um two times a charm or something because for us obviously it's the first time but for corvo it's it would be the second run so this game has a lot of replayability we can write a travel log travel log new year we are starting a new year edge of the world oh i bet this is very interesting i hate it especially in those let's play projects or maybe like revisit projects where we do not have a lot of time i do not want to fill up my entire storage with like footage of me reading which would be pretty boring at some points but the texts are very well written it's always been the case and i'm so it feels so sad to jump over this because somebody at the studio took the time to write a very well written letter and a very well like formulated travel log and we are just skipping it we are bad people. And there we have it. The crossbow. The traditional weapon of a dishonored character. Wait a second. Let me save real quick. Wanna try something. Did it save? Yes. What? <laughs> what we can do this? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Thankfully, we have created a save. Um, okay, guys. Do we want to open this? Oh, they're... Aua. Aua, they're biting. Aua! Dude, what the fuck? But I want to have the dried blood fly husk. Only for five coins, I got almost got bitten to death. Oh, what? We have to swim. Oh my god, and the landscape looks beautiful. Sure. We can take a look over the entire ship deck. Okay, that's great. Let's go for a little dive here. Give me the rune. New rune acquired. All right, and there we have our first rune. Yeah, let's go for agility. And then the next one, we will go for the dark vision or for more vitality then now we can talk with megan hello rats where are you going where are you going <laughs> crown killer has to be eliminated and if the alchemist will cooperate maybe i can learn something about what happened to sokolov wish me luck all right objective dreadful whale board the skiff for karnika meet with megan foster yeah we can do this okay meet with megan megan where the fuck are you i didn't listen oh there you are <laughs> i didn't expect this <laughs> brutally kicking her into the boat <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I just need my fun here and there, okay? This game is awesome, by the way, but I want to spice it up with my own way of humor. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. Yeah, but we do not have a cool mask as Corvo. We only have a scarf that we are trying to cover our half of a face with. I want to have my own mask. There are so many possibilities, especially from the last part. There have been such beautiful mask creations. Even for the enemies, they were great. And there we are, speedboating. Orgies and week-long feasts. Sounds like my regular Saturday night. Reach Adamire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The Alchemist Hypatia. She'll help if she can. All right, and there we are. 
Jewel of the South. There we are. Chaos level. Tutorial. Your actions affect the world around you. I know that. I know that. That's why we are trying to go for low chaos mode. Alright then, let's see what awaits us at the Edemeyer station. Let's go. And the rest of the story? Well, you have to experience it all for yourself. Approaching this game with low chaos in mind made things more technical and I'm all in for that. Let me know if you want to see more Dishonored content in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and if you enjoyed yourself here and plan on coming back, then be sure to subscribe and like the video. And if you desire more volume and violence, then my recent Wolfenstein video will make you very happy. Check it out! Stay safe, play fair and keep gaming.